hi there, Team Ozone. So let's start off. Life is hard. Real hard. It's not about how many times you can hit, how hard you can hit, how fast you can hit. It's all about how hard you can get hit and keep on going. Yeah, that's where this whole starts off. That's from a motivational video. I think I did misspeak some of the lines there, but the main point is life is about getting hit and getting straight back up because you're going to keep getting hit over and over and over again. And I forgot to enable my controller. So there's that. That's probably... <laughs> I love how I ruined that entirely, that whole... Yeah, life's about getting hard hit and stuff like that. And then I totally dropped the ball in terms of professionalism. But that's not what I'm here for. What I'm here for is to help you, help myself, help everybody. In a, in a way, it's kind of hard. Basically, life's gonna hit you really hard, multiple times, for no apparent reason. And you know how you can make it worse? You can look at that shelf and see the cookies and be like, Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, I know better. Or you can look at that new game that you used to be really into, but then you decided, I don't really want it. I don't really need it. That's not gonna help you. That's not gonna make you feel better. That's not helping any- why is there a giant spoon there? That's cool. That's not helping anybody. That's self-deprivation. Deprivation, that is the thing I was doing the most. I would always say, oh, I don't need to talk to my friends right now. I gotta go record. Oh, I don't need to do this. I gotta record. I don't need some sort of social event to go out to. I gotta record. Or, I don't need this video game. I can't afford it anyways. When, in reality, I could. It's just, you know... I was being really cheap, so that's not good. Also, probably a terrible startup swapping out. So, main point is, I'm not saying go ahead and blast your budget. Just, if you know you're going to pick up something and enjoy it, for my example, I just picked up the book called The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Really good book. Uh, nobody, like, nobody speaks as they do in the book, but hey, I'm not going to judge. It's generally... It's got me intrigued, right? And I'm generally rooting for the critical, what the hell was that? No, that didn't, no. I'm gonna use this potion right here. I'm not gonna save it for later. You know why I'm not gonna save it for later? Because I can buy another one. I know it sounds like I'm right, <laughs> and hagging and lecturing you, but that's the whole point. No one ever gets out of their self-deprivative self ways by themselves. They always need a little push. They always need a little shove. And I got my shove today, and hey, it was a great shove. But, let's not get into that. Main point is, if you see something you like, and you can get it without causing any harm to somebody or something like... Okay, let's say you got $100 right now, right? And that's just $100 sitting around for no reason. Right? $100. There's no purpose for that. And that Kingdom Hearts game you wanted to play a while ago is still, like, out. You should probably help yourselves to that Kingdom Hearts game. Kingdom Hearts, I took the S from yourselves, and you know what, never mind, I'm not going to explain how my mind works right now, it's a bit too complicated, oh my god, I'm not going to lose, am I? Even if I lose, I'm going to win this one, so don't worry about it. Main point, uh, don't self deprecate baskets, McNuggets on my balls. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to be broke as all hell after this, but anyways, don't deprive yourself. I did train off screen, by the way. I thought this would be enough training, but apparently not. Bollocks, bollocks, and bollocks. I used to say that a lot until I realized it was a British phrase, and then I stopped saying it, but who cares who says it? Say what you want. Do what you want. If you can, you probably maybe shouldn't, but it's so weird that we like deprive ourselves of things we... We don't need, right? There's a lot of things you don't need in life, but if they make you happy, there isn't such... You don't have to deprive yourself of them. It's like, if you like tea, have tea in the mornings. That's for me. If you like looking at yourself in the mirror when, after you work out and you're all muscly, well, that, I'm not entirely muscly, but that's also me. If you like books, continue your fascination in books. Things like money come and go. As long as you're not like go drowning yourself in debt, it's okay to just make yourself happy. Because you have a right to be happy. Everyone has a right to be happy. Everyone. 
Wow, uh, I should probably have thought of this more thoroughly. I don't really have much else to say. Am I going to continue Let's Playing and making videos? Probably not, because as everyone does have a right to be happy, I've made a thousand videos. I'm pretty sure that those videos are probably much better than anything I could make nowadays, and if anyone was going to get happy for me, it already happened. I'm not saying I'm bad or anything like that. Maybe I'll make a video if I feel like it, right? Like right now, I felt like making this video. This was very important that, that I got that out there that, yo, be happy or else it will get worse. Be happy, make yourself happy. I'm not saying like, go and gouge yourself or get things or look at things you can't get. That's not gonna help you. But if you can have a cookie from the cookie jar, you best get the goddamn cookie from the cookie jar. Cause ain't nobody gonna give you that cookie. Life isn't about getting cookies, it's about getting... Okay, okay, it's not about being gifted cookies, it's about getting cookies. You do not get a cookie, you grab a cookie. Yes, you say please, yes, you buy it, yes, whatever you do, you do. But at the end of the day, nobody's gonna give you a cookie for free. And if they do, then, okay, well, that's great. You got a cookie. That's a nice thing in life, and someone's being nice to you. You should probably thank them and be grateful for them being in your life. Case in point, there are things in life that you're going to enjoy, and you should go for them. If you feel bad that you enjoy something and that it'll make somebody around you feel a little less awesome, you gotta remember, if you shine, you're gonna give somebody else incentive to shine. Like, let's say you like making Let's Play videos, right? But then your dad's like, go to fucking college, and then you're like, fuck, okay. No, what you should have been is like, no, I'ma go do this instead. And that's a little bit more of a hitting home. That hits a little close to home for me. But it's not like that entirely ruined me. College changes people, but it didn't change me for the worse. In fact, I believe I'm a little better of a human in terms of kindness, not in terms of much else, but still, um, just do, never forget to treat yourself, is what I'm saying, there's always going to be, uh, you know, you have to be positive, oh, uh, you have to, to do other stuff, I don't know or remember at the moment, I really don't, all I got is, remember to treat yourself, because you're special, and there's only one of you, at least 80 billion people have lived on Earth and died, and only 7 billion are alive right now. So, there's more people alive? No. But are they gonna, like, just be another statistic? No! Every life matters! I totally did lose track of my point where I was going with the 80 billion to 7, but whatever. That was another thing I read in The Falls in Our Stars, brought to you by John Green. I'd say, yeah, I'm just chilling for the book, but no, the dude's got like a million following, is followings, followings, followers, Twitter. He's big enough. He don't need it. It wouldn't matter if I did anyways. Alright, so we got our gym badge. I gotta heal my Pokemon's teams. I need to expand my team now that I think about it. The really funny thing is, I never thought I would make another video after the last one, and then, like, I trained my Pokemon, you know, just in case, like, I would have to make a video or something, and then, boom, bam, done, got this whole, you gotta tweet yourself to be nice to yourself kind of video-esque done, so, there's that. Please remember to treat yourself, at least, you know, once in a while, because you're worth it. You know why you're worth it? Because I say so. You can't accept that? Alright, fight me, bro, or sis, or Nissan, or uh, cousin, or whatever the hell you are. Though, to be fair, I don't think I'd win in a fight against you guys right now. Because, like, my Pokemon team's not too trained. Oh, you meant actual fighting. Oh, no, screw that. I'm a pacifist. Yeah, yeah, I'm a pacifist. Don't actually fight me. Anyways, uh, that about wraps it up for today. It was a quickie, a shorty, um, a bit too short to, uh, you know, uh, talk, but I had to get that out there, so you'll probably see this, I don't know, when I'm in Canada or something. Oh yeah, about my vacation. A little bit delayed, but I'm still going for vacation up in Canada. So, please treat yourself, because you are so worth it. 
you weren't worth it, why would you be alive? Don't just give me that science-y mumbo-jumbo. Oh, I was the jizz who made it. No! There's a reason you made it. I truly believe there's a reason for every single life. Every life touches another, and that that is unique. Every interaction with another. Every... It, 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 ah, I just can't explain the sheer positivity I'm feeling right now. I wish I could just like tear it out of my chest and shovel it into the microphone and then you guys could just like touch the screen and feel it. That is how positive I am feeling right now. Because I treated myself to coconut cookies and I love coconuts. Yeah, that's where all of this came from. Nuts. Eh? 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 Nobody? No, nobody? Okay, okay. Nuts. Eh? Eh? Okay, yeah, whatever. I will catch you guys later. Bye! Yeah, I bet you guys missed that. I miss doing that. I miss Let's Playing sometimes, and I think I should get into it back. But it's never gonna cut into my time again. It's not gonna do that, because... A thousand videos! I'm sure one of those will make somebody laugh at some point in time at... You know, there's a possibility and it'll have occurred. But you're worth living for, alright? You're worth treating, because you're special, and you matter. If not to yourself, then just to me. And if you don't think you matter, then in the comments, you know what to do. I respond to most, if not all, comments. Though here's the weird thing, sometimes I can't hit the reply button to the comment, in which case I'll just copy and paste your name and post a comment, and hopefully you'll come back and check the comment section and see that your name was mentioned. Because sometimes YouTube's being weird. YouTube's always weird. YouTube was designed to never work when it was supposed to be working. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I mean. It never worked when it's supposed to. Always there when you don't need it. Anyways, truly adore all of you who have stuck with me for so long. Please don't neglect to treat yourselves. And if I could, I'd make you some nice tomato soup, because if you were sick, you need the soups. So, have a nice day. Just, ah, uh, I hope you're feeling better, because I know I am. And I know I'm not the biggest thing in the world, but you guys are big in the world, because you guys matter. Because you're alive. You're alive. Because you could make somebody else smile. That's why you matter. You could make somebody else smile, and they could make two people smile and the smiles would keep on going. Do you not see how wonderful that is? Somebody could be crying and sad, but you can fix it. You can do it, because you're just that amazing. All right, I will, okay, final goodbye. I will see you guys later. I'll probably have a video, but probably not anytime soon, because I have a book to finish. Bye, love you guys.